Before I begin with today's topic, it is with a heavy heart that I give my condolences to the friends, family, and fans of Ray Stevenson. Coincidentally, I was working on this video about Ray Stevenson when I heard the news of his passing. I recently began really getting into his works, before I even knew he was in the Ahsoka series. And my favorite character I have seen him play is Titus Polo in the early 2000s series Rome. I had also been looking into Mr. Stevenson and who he was as a person, and from everything I've read, he is definitely a bright star in our own galaxy. Thank you for everything you've given us. This is a tragic loss of a good person and an amazing actor. Gar Saxon slash Balin Skull, you will dearly be missed. With the heaviness that looms over this day, let's continue with the topic in honor of Ray Stevenson. I had a whole other way of introducing today's topic, but I felt I needed to change it after I found out about Ray Stevenson's passing. So, getting right to it. How the heck did we miss this subtle hint about Balin's skull in the Ahsoka series? Ray Stevenson may have revealed a little more than expected about his character Balin's skull in the Ahsoka series at Star Wars Celebration 2023 in London, England. The actor who portrayed the Roman soldier Titus Pullo in the two-season series Rome went on to voice the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels character Gar Saxon. In those series, Gar Saxon was a member of Death Watch, later transformed to the Shadow Collective, then later he became the Regent of Mandalore under the Empire. A Mandalorian super commando, Gar Saxon was nothing less than a great character and Ray Stevenson really brought Saxon to life. Now, Ray Stevenson has been taken from the world of Star Wars animation and recast as a live-action Force-sensitive named Balin. As most other people who know of Ray Stevenson's work, I am as so excited to see him in the Ahsoka series. During Star Wars Celebration, Ray Stevenson takes the hot seat along with Thrawn actor Lars Mikkelsen. And this will be the first time we get to see Grand Admiral Thrawn in live action as well since the character's creation in 1992. In Star Wars Rebels, we got to see Thrawn in animation form and voiced by the same man. I really don't see how anyone else could portray Thrawn now. Before I go on with how revealing Ray Stevenson may have been during this interview at Star Wars Celebration, a quick word from our sponsor, me. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give the video a big stupid thumbs up. It really does help get my message across to the Star Wars fandom. Okay, let's get back to Ray Stevenson, Lars Mikkelsen, and the upcoming Ahsoka Tano series. If you know me, I don't just sit and watch Star Wars movies and shows with a childlike wonderment. I dig deeper, deeper into the characters, the settings, behind the scenes, and I eventually find time to dig deeper into the actors portraying different Star Wars characters of interest. With the Ahsoka series coming, it's almost like my inner and outer nerd is tweaking for more, more, more. Ahsoka Tano is my favorite light side character, and Grand Admiral Thrawn is my favorite Imperial officer. I guess that second bit is not too hard to fathom, because other than Grand Moff Tarkin, there aren't many Imperial officers that stand out. Maybe Agent Callus. Moff Jerjerod, or Jerjerod, or Jerjerod, or whatever his name is, would have if one or two deleted scenes had been kept in. So, with Grand Admiral Thrawn and Ahsoka Tano being represented in live action in the Ahsoka series, I can't help but feel like I won the lottery. How good will Rosario Dawson and Lars Mikkelsen portray their characters? Well, I have high hopes, but we will have to wait and see. But Rosario Dawson has already proved herself as Ahsoka in live action, and Lars Mikkelsen was brilliant in his voice acting of Grand Admiral Thrawn. So, yeah. High hopes. Then you add Ray Stevenson into it, and yeah, really high hopes. But what about him? How good will he be? Well, if you've seen his other works, I don't think we have to worry. Not at all. The interview with the two actors, Ray Stevenson and Lars Mikkelsen, has gone largely unmentioned, at least from anything I can find on YouTube, other than the official clip from the Star Wars YouTube channel. But both Ray Stevenson and Lars Mikkelsen were asked a series of questions about their roles in the Ahsoka series. I watched it live on YouTube and thought it was a really fun watch, but something stuck out. 
Well, a few things stuck out. When Ray Stevenson was asked about his character Balin in the Ahsoka series, he had this to say. He, you know what I, I know. Mean? It's, it's, there was a, you, you're not sure where, he, where exactly he's from, which part of the universe or the galaxy, but he has been part of it for, you know, he's been there as a presence. And then there's this kind of nobility about him. But is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? There's something else other going on. Whoa, that adds a little something to this new character. Well, a lot of something, really. The Star Wars characters I like the most are the ones who are ambiguous. Not just ambiguous as to which side they're on, but what is their motivation? Of course, Ahsoka Tano aside. I'm pretty sure we're shown her character as straightforward, but characters like Darth Vader and Boba Fett. Is Darth Vader really bad? Well, in his eyes, no. Is Boba Fett a villain? Well, no, nor is he a hero. But now we get this inside peek into the character of Balin's skull from the most inside person there is, and he's telling us there is more to this guy than just an antagonist. And by the way, being an antagonist doesn't necessarily mean villain. Just thought I'd clarify that. I can't wait to see the performance Ray Stevenson puts on for us in the Ahsoka series. I really hope we see his character wrapped up nicely, not in a throwaway line in another season or show. Will this be an honor to the man and give him an immortality that will bring tears to our eyes? I had planned to say so much more about his Star Wars Celebration interview, but I just don't feel this is the right time. I'll do another video on that later on. In the Star Wars family, we've lost many actors. Actors who have become as immortal as gods. Carrie Fisher, Peter Mayhew, David Prose, Peter Cushing, and Christopher Lee, just to name some. Actors whose Star Wars characters had been arced throughout the existence of Star Wars. Now, the beyond is gaining another great, before we got to see his latest Star Wars character edition. I'm sure it's going to be one for the records. But thank you, Ray Stevenson, and may you have eternal peace. This is Gerald, a Star Wars fanatic, signing off. Thank you all for hanging out with me today, and remember, be good to each other. This is the way, the only way. And every department cares so much. It's not just about their own departments. They're all part of it. And somebody from the maker department sees somebody in construction who's maybe having a bit... Are you all right? Do you need anything? There's no division as such. They're so united. He, you know what I, I mean? know. It's, 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 it's...